All right, it's your boy I call, aka Daddy Saltwater. I'm doing a gear review today for the Emma King Fishing Team page. We're gonna start off with my gear. The other guys in the team are gonna do their own video, so I'm gonna start you off with. Uh, I'll go from smallest to biggest. How about that? Smallest, which is pretty much my anything reel, where I'm throwing out bait as far as shrimp, small mullet, you know, anything up to 40 pounds. I've got a Okuma RTX 40. Bang. It's loaded with 30 pound braid around 200 yards. It's on a 7 foot medium heavy ugly stick GX2 rod. I love this rod because to start it's an ugly stick. And it's got these chrome guides with some type of epoxy finish going around it so they don't corrode like the usual chrome guides do. And if I knock it around, uh, it's not like aluminum oxide inserts that are going to crack and pop out on you. So this is my bulletproof. I just throw whatever I need to on this. Throwing lures, catching bait off of, jacks. I mean, we fought a little black tip on this for about, I think, 26 pounds. It was pretty fun. All right, let's go on to the next thing. Oh. We're going to get into some of the surf rods or rods I use on the jetty. We've got an Akuma Pixer, an Akuma Pixer 65B. Right now, all I use are Akuma. I started off with pen, but I started to waste money because they suck. Well, they don't suck, but uh, I prefer Akuma. For the price, almost every single one of Akuma's higher end uh, saltwater reels have a sealed drag system on it. And by higher end, I don't mean $200, because really, Akuma's cheaper than that. I mean 50 bucks and up. This has an all aluminum body made of uh, a proprietary aluminum. Akuma uses called Aluminite. It's light as hell. Ooh, a steel drag system on it. Mega thick bell wire. Show that to you. It holds 310 and 15 pound mono, 260 and 20. On my surf setups, I usually have 150 yards of 20 pound braid just, just to have it. Because I've always gotten unlucky and got stripped by some big ass fish on the lightest pole that I bring. The big fish will miss what it's supposed to eat and go after the smallest piece of bait I throw out there when I'm trying to catch something like a pompano. So I have 150 to 20 pound power pro on it. And on top of that, I've got around 225 of 28 pound mono. Berkeley Big Game Solar Collector. The rod is one of the best rods I've ever bought. It's a Daiwa beef stick rod. I got it from Tackle Direct. It's 11 foot medium heavy, 1 to 6 ounce. Rated for 17 to 40 pound mono. Let's see if I can get that in there. It's got one of these really double footed heavy duty guides on the front, but the second piece doesn't have the bulky guides. It's got the slim ones that, that kind of come in a little bit. But this is made of fiberglass for 40 bucks. I, could, I mean, I can't go wrong with this. I mean, the biggest thing I go after on these is around 20, 30 pounds, which is some small tarpon or some big jacks. Okay, second one. It's a bigger setup for the surf. Anything big, really. I've got Nakuma Pixar again. I loved the first one I bought, and then I stepped up and bought the 80 size. This thing is the same thing. Aluminum light body. Machined aluminum handle. Rubber handle here. It's all rubber right there. Then you got the seal drag system on top of it. The drag system, I forgot to mention, is just smooth as hell. When you tighten it down, as tight as it is, you feel like the, the, the spool is tight, but it's still loose. It just doesn't match up. It's a lot smoother than you think it would be. The, the Pixar 80, I'm using everything from small sharks fighting them with 40 pound power pro you can fit about 500 yards of it maybe a little less depending on how you spool it right now i think the biggest thing i fought on the 80 size was i give it around 33 pounds we're talking about a 33 pound stingray from the beach i fought them on 25 pound mono which is the same mono i have here i got 150 yards of 30 pound braid underneath and 25 pound mono on top around 200 yards 
Now the ugly stick 11 footer is one of the best rods you'll ever buy. Is the ugly stick. They're a little heavy, so if you don't like that and you're a little hoe, don't get an ugly stick. But real men use ugly sticks, especially considering they're going to last twice as long as any other rod. I bought a Tsunami Airwave. That's a fucking $130 rod that broke in a week. I've dropped this ugly stick. This shit's fell off my bike when I, when I ride my bike to the beach instead of taking the car. I mean, the guides are just completely intact. They haven't cracked it off. Fuji guides, of course. It's got a great, nice, heavy-duty handle on it. And I can fish for anything. I mean, when I put the braid on here, I'm going after things 100-pound range. Big-ass big tarpon from the surf. Still haven't been able to fight one on this yet, but I'm hoping for it. And again, Wakuma, to me, is the best company for reels right now. The spin reels are just, they're great. It's a great price. When you look at pen, the best thing about them, people like to say, is that they're simple and you can repair them. But when you have two rotating pieces in the reel, it's bound to break. It's a little too simple. That's that's why it's easy to repair. The shit's going to break on you because it's only one thing to worry about. That one thing is going to give out. I mean, if not, Pena is probably my second favorite. But I completely despise the Shimano. Shimano is just trash. The Shimano or uh, Stratic has the weakest bail wire ever. And it's a damn, I think, what, $70 reel? Let's say average. I've seen it a little cheaper, a little higher. Let's say 70 bucks. And the bail wire is just flimsy as hell. I destroyed it within a week fighting nothing but small ass bluefish from a local pier. We're just catching little bluefish for bait, you know, 12, 15 inches to cast out to, for sharks. But that was just a terrible reel. Then you got the, the old, not the newest version of the Saragossa, but the old one was terrible. I mean, it looked plastic. I mean, if you thought about it, it's, it's probably five times the price of a Shakespeare Alpha. And the Shakespeare Alpha looked like it was the same thing. It looked plastic as hell, lightweight. Third favorite would probably be Daiwa, but Daiwa pisses me off because they don't have a lot of stuff. Their cheapest reel is Daiwa DF100, and it's pretty pretty riggedy. I mean, it's great for line capacity, but nothing else. Doesn't have a seal drag system. My favorite one from them has to be the Daiwa Saltus. That reel is just a monster. Uh, second would be the Daiwa Isla, or Isla. I don't know if they say the S with it, but that's a nice reel too. So Akuma, right now to me, is my favorite. I want the Azores 90, but they're not selling in the U.S. right now. I think Australia has them already. I've got one site saved that is going to cost me around 100 bucks just to ship if I buy the, the 90 from overseas. So I'm going to wait until it gets to the U.S. But here, we have an Okuma Convector Level Wine. This is what I shark fished with. This Level Wine reel here. Okuma Convector TV55L, one of the biggest and baddest level wines on the planet. This thing here, the level wine here, is, it's nothing weak. I mean, I've done everything with this thing so far. I've only got it in a week. I've been fishing with it every chance I get to test it out, and it's perfect. It's got a drop down gearbox, too. That looks nice. The drop down right here. This thing holds 440 of 40 pound mono. And 520 of 30. Me, I put 300 yards of 50 pound braid, power pro, green. And on top, you can fit an entire quarter spool of uh, monofilm line. So these quarter spools, whatever is on here, you're going to fit on top of that braid of 300 yards, 50 pound power pro. And I had 50, 50 pound mono, 275 yards is a quarter spool of 50 pound mono, Berkey Big Game. I fit the whole thing on there, it got spooled and broke off on the jetty, so I only have like 100 yards right now. But level wines, this is just bad. Honestly, there's only maybe two level wines I think are better than this. Three, actually. The Pen Fathom, 60 wide, in this price range. I mean, uh, well, actually, Fathom's in a different price, but for this price range, 100 bucks and under, this is the best level wine. I mean, it's the best one, it's perfect. Big as hell, strong, you can do what you want with it. Second, I like the Okuma Clarion. They don't sell in a lot of places, mainly online. Now, my favorite level wand would have to be the Dawa Saltus, the 50HA. 
that's great too, but it's a little too much money. Next would be if you want a real big reel to start shark fishing, get the Okuma Saltera 50L level one. I know a lot of people are going to tell you they don't have the 50 size and level one, but they do. But it, again, it was meant to be overseas. U.S. wasn't really getting them like that to sell them. If you look at them online on tacklehaven.com, you can get them for 190 bucks. It'll show you it says 50L, and it'll show you the level one on it too. Now the rod is an eight foot big water ugly stick. This reel isn't supposed to fit on this. Isn't supposed to be on this rod. I just have it on this rod because when I'm on the jetty. And I don't bring the real big reel out. I use this one so I can cast a little bit. I can't cast the big one. This one I can cast about 80 yards, but it's perfect. It's got the gimbal at the bottom. This is hard to get off. It's got the gimbal there. So it's eight foot. It's got real heavy guides. It's got eight guides, including the tip. It's nice and heavy. This thing could fight a 200 pound shark, no problem. The biggest I've heard being caught on one of these ugly sticks. There's a nine and a half, almost nine and a half foot hammerhead, round nine, not nine point five, but probably nine and five inches, a little over that, and it's perfect. Haven't really got to test this rod. I've had this investor on a Daiwa beef stick boat rod that gave out on the farmer. There's a, there's a little, yeah, it's, a, it's not a pier, like one of the big ass ones, hanging 50 feet off the water. It's a little dock in the Halifax River on Port Orange called Dunlop. It's got like 50 to 80 pound grouper down there. And I was messing around one day. I threw on some 200 pound Chinese braid just for the hell of it. Because it was a few bucks and I needed a line real quick. I threw it on there and had the drag tightened all the way down. So instead of that line giving out, the pole went. The line wasn't going to break. Now on to the biggest reel, which is supposed to be on that ugly stick. And it's the main shark reel. We have Okuma Saltera 50W, 50 wide. This thing is just a beast. I got this for 178 or 79 bucks on Walmart.com. I mainly order from Walmart because if I break anything, if it's been within three months of the purchase date, I can return it and get my money back. No questions asked. If not, order from Tackle Direct because their packaging is the best. Now this. I've got 320 yards of 80 pound mono and underneath it I've got uh, 500 yards of 80 pound power pro so that's 820 yards right there to fight a monster shark and it'll get it done the lever drag it's got the offset handle thanks to Tiburon they've been helping Okuma with their gear rights uh, right now so far real loud clicker That's the clicker. Hold on. Get this face back on here. Yeah, that's the clicker. But I have not got to test this out yet. I just ordered all this gear, pretty much. So I haven't got to test it. Really put some of it to the test. So we can get some serious fish, except that convector with the grouper. But we're going to. So Henley King's Fisher Team, it's your boy I call, aka Daddy Saltwater. And here's a gear review. If you got any questions, let me know. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me tell you the line capacity first. I hate when people do a review and don't say that. Uh, this holds 600 yards of 60 pound mono. I had 60 pound mono on one of these before. I had about 800 yards of 65 pound braid. And not around 350 of 60 pound mono. So you can get a hell of a lot of line with using the 60 pound weight. But I want to step it up and go to 80. 80 it holds 420 of 80 pound mono. I pretty much used 100 yards of that 80 pound mono capacity and put the 500 yards 80 pound braid. Then I had 320 yards 80 pound mono to put on top of it. But it's a strong ass lever drag. Don't forget that. 50L. I'll get it in there for you. Any questions? Just let me know.